lighting is kind of ugly, but whatever. Hey guys, it is Melanie, and today's video is super exciting. It is a thrift flip, thrift flip, and today's video is just going to be like one single idea, but I did it like the same concept to two different things, so I'm just showing you guys that today, and hopefully you enjoy it. Um, I feel like I haven't really seen anything too similar to this. Hopefully, I don't know, maybe I just haven't looked at all of them, but I really like how both of my sweatshirts turned out. Basically, I thrifted these two hoodies and I really liked them, but they were kind of, kind of nasty to be honest, but I was like, I still want them anyways. So I decided to like pizzazz them a little bit, you know, upcycle them if you will, and yeah, you can see how they turned out. So hopefully if you guys have any like old hoodies or thrift any cool hoodies that are kind of not in the best shape, um, hopefully you can try something out like this and be sure to show me what it looks like because I would love to see. That was a lot of talking. Other than that, it wasn't too hard to do. It's a lot, 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 lot easier if you have a sewing machine or if you're good at sewing, but if you aren't, you could honestly use the fabric like liquid glue for the entire thing other than that let's get into the little thrift flip slash tutorial and yeah So just starting off with the Nike hoodie, I'm just going to lay it out and I also laid out the flannel which is the material that I'm going to be using to replace like all the bad pieces basically. And I just decided that I wanted to start with the sleeves so I just cut off the sleeves on both sides because they were very 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 nasty. Once I cut off both sleeves on the Nike hoodie, then I went over and cut off the sleeves on the flannel as well, which is basically what I would be replacing it with. And keep in mind just to leave a little bit of room because you can always cut extra, but you can't like uncut if that makes sense. Once I have the pieces that I'm going to replace, basically you want to keep your hoodie inside out and also have the new wrist replacement inside out and you're going to sew it together. And I used a sewing machine for this just to make it more sturdy, but you can also hand sew this. It'll just take a lot longer and you could also use glue, which is the easy alternative, but since I had a sewing machine, I just opted for that. Once I just finished sewing that with the sewing machine, keep in mind you want to make sure that it's inside out so that way you don't see the stitching after you fold it the right side out. I just tied a knot and this is what one finished sleeve looks like. So once I did one sleeve, I went over and did the exact same thing to the other sleeve. Now that I have both sleeves finished, I'm going to move on to the pocket, which actually took quite a bit of time because for this one, I decided to sew it. On the next one, you'll see that I used glue and it went a lot faster. But the very first thing I'm going to do is crop this just because this hoodie is a size large and it's really big. So I basically just cropped all the excess fabric. Once you got that gone, of course you're going to want to measure it beforehand, but I'm not putting any specific measurements in just because it's kind of up to your preference. I'm just cutting off the sleeve of my flannel because that's what I'm going to be using to cover the pocket of my hoodie. Then I just cut the sleeve open so that it's a nice even rectangle for me to work with. Once I did that, I just pinned it down to make it easier for me to sew so that I didn't have to keep on folding it. And I basically pinned along the seams exactly where I wanted to sew so that it would exactly fit the pocket. Here's a closer look so that you can see a little bit what it looks like. I also folded it over just to look a little bit neater. Once I got everything pinned down, then I just went in and basically hand sewed along all of these pinnings, which actually took a very, very long time. So I would recommend using the glue because it's just so much faster. And this doesn't actually need to be that sturdy because it's kind of just like covering it. So that was dumb on my part, but it's okay. It still turned out good. Okay, and like 10 hours later, this is what the finished pocket looks like. It looks very nice and professional in my opinion, but it did take a very, very long time. But you know, whatever, that's fine. Here you can just see me cutting away all the scrap pieces of fabric, like all the excess pieces around the pocket that I don't need.
And here from this overview angle, you can see a lot better what the finished pocket looks like. But now it's time to do the waistband cinching just to make it fit a little bit better. So what I basically did was I took the other sleeve that I hadn't used yet and measured it along my elastic and then cut a little piece for that. But since the fabric wasn't long enough, I had to cut two pieces and sew it together to basically make one long piece of fabric. Once I have this very long piece of fabric, basically you want it to be the same length as the bottom of your hoodie so that you can sew it together. I am once again going to line it up and make sure to do it inside out, that way the seams don't show once you're finished. But basically I'm just going to fold it over and sew it down so that it's like a little pocket for the elastic. It's kind of like making a scrunchie on the bottom of your jacket and that's like the best way I could describe it. I know it's really confusing when you're looking at it here, but it kind of just makes more sense to watch the video than for me to explain it, so hopefully it kind of makes sense. Once you have this little pocket sewn along the bottom, I just took my piece of elastic which I measured around my waist and threaded that through the little pocket using a safety pin hooked on the end. I know it got cropped out of frame here, but once you get it all the way through, you're just going to sew the two ends of the elastic together and then sew the fabric ends together as well and close it all up and then you're pretty much finished there. Now you could totally stop here, but I had some extra flannel material and I decided to use that to cover the inside of the hood just because I thought it would give a nice little finish and just make it all cohesive and stuff. So I used fabric glue for this. I just grabbed some liquid stitch and it worked great. I also used a little paintbrush to help me spread it out over the hood and I basically cut out pieces to perfectly fit in the hood shape and I just put it down, painted a little glue and then would hold it down afterwards and then I used my scissors after that just to cut along the edges so that it fits perfectly and this is what it looks like up close. This is just what one finished section looks like. I didn't really fold over to make any seams or anything like that. I kind of just left it raw because that would just be too much work. But I basically repeated it with all three sections of the hood and this took a little while but it wasn't too bad. I do really recommend using a paintbrush to spread out the glue though because this way it makes sure that the glue doesn't harden and that it's not it's not like crunchy I guess if that makes sense. This way it's still like soft and it still feels like material. Um, I also did want to say that it did use a lot of glue because I basically used the entire bottle to do this hood. And another five hours later, this is what the finished hood looks like. I know it took a very long time, but I really like how it looks and I think it ties the look together very well. And this is what the finished upcycled hoodie looks like. I really, really love how this turned out and I think it is such a step up from how it started because it was looking a little grungy beforehand. And it's pretty much the exact same process that I did for this hoodie except I just used a denim button up instead of like a flannel. So basically I really really like this concept because it's very very customizable. You can use whatever material or print you want. It doesn't even have to be a button up. You can literally just buy a fabric print that you like and upcycle your hoodies like this. The only difference I did for this one because it was my second take is I started with the hood which I don't know if that really made a difference but I also used glue for the pocket and hood. Overall I didn't want to walk you through the exact same process because it's literally the same thing so I kind of just did a sped up version but this is what the second finished hoodie came out like and yeah I really really like it and I just love how both of these turned out and I think they're super fun and it's a great way to customize and upcycle and make them a little more unique. Okay guys so that was the thrift clip and that is basically how I upcycled these Nike 
honeys. I hope that you guys enjoyed and really liked the idea. If you guys do try out this idea, I guess, make sure to send me a photo or show me on Instagram or something because I would love to see it. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to let me know if you want to see other stuff and follow me on my socials to stay up to date. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys! Oh, it's getting late now, baby.